This is it. This is it. Big dog about to take down some bitches. I mean, I mean no offense, man. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. That's, that's a fucked up metaphor, man. Come on in here, man. The point is, man, your boy LD is about to become King LD. Yeah. Old school OG, new wave, big dog, sneaky motherfucking king of the castle OG. That's who you looking at. And you, you one of the nights of my round table. A serious night. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon drive a low rider. We about to peel his bitch ass for it. And you know what? He ain't even no dragon. He's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak so fast, he won't even know what hit him. You feel me? Damn, I should write these metaphors down. Your boy a straight poet. Hey, you know my boy Benny? That's my boy Benny, man. He does the best work. Benny, what's happening, pimp? That boy go hard. Hey, look, man. If you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical. Beautiful and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer and a fighter. Talking all this old school shit, look, the whole move relies on the fact that the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs that care way too much about flossing their lowriders than they do about paying homage and secret respect to yours truly, you feel me? So we gonna show them bitch ass niggas the error of their ways. We gonna slowly and methodically re-educate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being said, we gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And assuming that you confused right now might mean we on the right track. You confused? Whatever, come on, just get moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out, you gonna need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you gonna need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm gonna be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. <laughs> it's your boy LD tickling your eardrums, homie. I'm riding with you. Now go on, hop and ride. Next batch. 
gonna go out and pull some murders in cars like that. Ha! <laughs> Fools that know they working for the next big man. <laughs> Frank and G gonna be live and like a motherfucker when they find out this high intense gangster shit we done kicked off. We out here gangbanging like it's 91. Niggas getting laid down left and right. Streets covered with blood. And in the end, the only one to survive is the line sneaky motherfucker. And guess what? I plan on being that line sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> That's leadership. I'm like a gangbang guru teaching you niggas the essentials to laying niggas down. You feel me? Hey, now go get you some rest, man. As a matter of fact, when you finish laying down, why don't you get you a nice little outfit for my coronation? Because we going places, people. Hey, go in there and check out that boy Benny. The boy's a magician. So, first up, I should probably say, many can't do this on any old car. I only work on select makes and models, but the work speaks for itself. I'm always looking to expand, but this is where we're at for now. First step's getting it ready. We give you the basic build, and everything else can go on top. Can't do any of the other work without that rebuild. After that, it's whatever you like. Interior, exterior, pop in the hood, work in the engine, hydros, of course, opening the trunk, fitting it out, you'll have a low rider in no time. Sound good? Get it right from the list and come on back. We'll fix them too, but it's expensive. You don't want to get in no fender bender.
Hey there, uh, you don't know me, but I, uh, I know you. Your name keeps cropping up all over every police report and gangster's bleed I'm reading. You've been making something of a name for yourself in our pleasant community of reprobates. <laughs> I've got some business opportunities I'd like to discuss with you. If you're interested, swing by my house in Murrieta Heights. Oh, and, um, come alone, please. Thank you.